Max, let's finish this week's episode with the extra juicy dog. I'm going to give you my quarterback here, Max. Bad one for me last week, Kyler Murray. That, was, that wasn't a good one. I got a better one for you this week. San Francisco 49er quarterback Brock Purdy. Hmm. Quarterback 13 right now might be a little disappointing, especially where Zach took him. Zach took him over a lot of big names. Yeah, Quarterback 13 right now. He is second in the NFL in passing guards with 1,130. Nice. Solid. Uh, San Francisco, they're seven and a half point home favorites over the Cardinals with a 49 and a half point over under. That is the second highest on the week. There's going to be a lot of points here. Arizona is 24th against the quarterback position in fantasy football. Brock Purdy, if you got him, don't be nervous. Fire him up. Mm, love it. Love it. Uh, Brock Purdy, very solid in that offense. No doubt about it. Which is unbelievable considering that Debo and freaking George Kittle were out one game and CMC. yet he's still doing great. See, yeah, it's. It's that, quickly, it's that system. Quickly, quick update on CMC. He went over to Germany to get to get his Achilles looked at. Uh, reportedly, this was the same guy that Kobe Bryant went to. Mm. Anyways, he now has Achilles Achilles tendonitis in both Achilles Max. Wow, both Achilles have tendonitis. I don't think we're gonna see him. I don't wow. think we're gonna see him, Max. But that's that's rough. He, he had a he had a procedure done over there, a four to six week timetable. I'm told, but. I'm worried. I'm Definitely. worried. Definitely I'm worried. worried. Give me your quarterback there. Oh, Cole Brazy. I am going. He's back, baby. He is back. Jordan Love of the Green oh. Bay Packers taking on the Rams. The Rams are ranked 29th. Ring 29th against Bad. against the quarterback. Again, Bad. he's back, baby. He's back. Last week, he had 389 passing yards, four touchdowns. He did have three interceptions. He was chucking it. But that's 30.6 fantasy points, so you're not upset. And Cole Brazy... I'm quite happy. I know you're going to talk about him in a second, but I just got to say Jaden Reed is the top option. It looks like he is going to get a lot of targets. When Jordan Love is in, he is getting targets. Uh, Jaden Reed is getting those targets, at least eight of them when Jordan Love is in. Fire him up. I'll tell you, but we'll get to that in a second. I'm super excited. Fire up Jordan Love. He's back, yeah. baby. Yeah, I like Jordan Love. He was he was spreading around almost, almost 400 freaking yards. My goodness. Yeah, Crazy. Good, good pick against the Rams. My extra juicy dog at the running back position for week five is Derek King Henry of the Baltimore Ravens. Excuse me. He's currently running back three in full PPR leagues on ESPN. He is tied for the NFL lead, tied for second in the NFL and carries with 80. He leads the NFL in rushing yards with 480, and he's tied for the NFL lead in rushing touchdowns with five. The Ravens in this divisional matchup against the Bengals are two and a half point road favorites. They got a 50 and a half point. <clears throat> Excuse me, boy. Something caught in there. My oh, goodness. my goodness. Oh, my, my goodness. Good. My goodness. This AFC North divisional matchup between the Ravens and the Bengals has a 50 and a half point over under. That is the highest on the week. A lot of points coming. The Bengals are 21st against the running back position. They've, they've surrendered five rushing touchdowns this year. That doesn't sound like a lot, but that's tied for sixth most, sixth most in the NFL. Going to be another one here. Derrick Henry should have had three tutties last week. Should have been a Hades three-headed dog, fumbled on the goal line. Oh! Derrick Henry, my buddy, Mr. Tutty for week five in Cincinnati. Easy. Easy point. Easy point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what a great year, and uh, good for Derrick Henry going into an offense that uh, looks like they'll make the playoffs and compete for a Super Bowl. I hope Derrick Henry can get it one day. Not saying they want to get it this year, but, you know, we'll we'll, we'll see what it, is that it goes down the road. All right, go Brazy, I got it. I got to go for my running back, Kenneth Walker uh -oh. III. Oh. Kenneth Walker III, baby. Another guy. I, we're doing the comeback kids, man. We're doing the comeback kids from these injuries. He's taking on the New York Giants. Now, the New York Giants are ranked 14th, but after last week, Cole Breezy, where Kenneth Walker III comes back off an of injury, goes up against the number one defense against the run in the Lions, and puts up uh, freaking, uh, I don't know, it was 30 point something fantasy points with three touchdowns, 80 rushing yards, and also 36 receiving yards on four catches. I'm, it's crazy because last week that all the analysts, they're all skeptical with him coming off of his injury as well as I was. Right. And, uh, you know, it, again, also playing against the number one defense, like, Oh, maybe, uh, maybe he's uh, not going to get so many touches or just going to ease him into the offense. But if a Hades three headed dog does, didn't convince you, <laughs> didn't convince you to start this bad boy against, against any opponent this season, uh, then you are sleeping on a mattress 
you're in a mattress in a store that's trying to close up, but then you refuse because you're like, oh, geez, I don't know what mattress to wear. Or, or I don't know what mattress to buy. Can you can you choose for me? But you're actually laying on that mattress that you wow. want to buy, but you just can't make the decision. And they're wow. just like, you know, can you just get out? Can you just anyway, Kenneth Walker is that mattress. So you better be starting wow. him for every week from now on, just like I'm going to do. You are you are laying face down drooling on that mattress <laughs> if you're not starting Kenneth yes. Walker moving forward. Yes. My goodness. My oh, goodness. Also, Cole Breezy, sorry. My buddy, Mr. Tuddy. Get oh, him in the end zone. Don't again. forget. Let's fire don't him forget. up. Let's don't go. Don't forget. I like it. I like it. Him having having 80 yards on the ground and three tutties. We didn't know if he was 100% healthy against Detroit. My goodness, he might be matchup proof. He might be matchup proof. Seattle, that looks like a good offense. That looks like a really good offense. Yeah, oh yeah. My extra juicy dog at the wide receiver position for week five is going to be Green Bay Packer, your guy Jaden Reed. Currently in full PPR leagues, he's the wide receiver four. But the two weeks that he had Jordan Love behind center, he was the wide receiver one in week one and the wide receiver two last week. Week one, he had four catches for a buck 38 and a tutty. Last week, seven catches for a buck 39 and a tutty. The Packers, the three point road favorites in LA. 47 and a half point over under is tied for the third highest on the week. Defenses are a little shaky, going to be some points here. The Rams, they're 27th against the wide receiver position. They've surrendered eight receiving touchdowns through four weeks. That is tied for third most in the NFL. Going to be another one here, boys. Jaden Reed is getting loose yeah. deep behind that secondary. My buddy, Mr. Tutty, yeah. Jaden Reed. In L.A., playing the Rams. Max, are you starting him? He's in my flex, baby. You better believe Ooh. I'm starting Jaden Reed. I, I even said it after that first week. I said, oh, I'm starting Jaden Reed. And then Jordan Love got hurt. I'm like, I'm not going to start him until he comes back, until Jordan Love comes back. And then he proved to me he needs to be in all of your fantasy lineups, everybody. He needs to be starting. Oh, Who is uh, your wide receiver? Moving on to my wide receiver. You know, I can't believe I'm going to toss out this name as like, oh, man, gee, I mean, I guess, I guess so. I'm going Garrett Wilson from the oh, New York Jets, go, taking on Minnesota, who Minnesota is ranked 29th against, the, against wide receivers. This is a getting it going game. All right, this is a getting it going game. He's ranked 43rd right now, Cobrizi. Can we believe that? Can we believe Gosh. that Garrett Wilson, with his talent, is ranked 43rd? He has, but here's the good news, is that he does have 34 targets on the year. All right, he has 20 catches on 34 targets. He's averaging eight targets per game. He's getting a lot, a lot of work. Okay, now it's time that Aaron Rodgers and Wilson get on track here. You know, it's time to go out for dinner. All right, Aaron Rodgers, you, you can pay for it. Okay, you're the old man. And then, please. Uh, yeah, please, please. Go, uh, go out, get a nice steak, and uh, figure something out with each other. But I'm telling you right now, they're going to get on track, and they're going to get on track by getting in the end zone. I am calling it my buddy, Mr. Tunney, oh, Garrett Wilson, and Aaron Rodgers. Ballsy. I, it is a ball. It's a tough pick. It's a tough pick. But I, I, when he finds out, when he's in the end zone, I'm going to be really excited. Yeah, I, going out to dinner with Aaron Rodgers, I think Alan Lazard might already be there waiting for him at the table. I, when 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 Rodgers is in the red zone, he's looking for his guy from Green Bay, Lazard, True. three tutties. We we were we weren't worried about Lazard, but it's looking like he is a factor there. Sixty yards is the high for Garrett Wilson this year. My goodness, not what Zach was thinking when he took him number one overall. He was number one. Wow. In our, in wow. our two keeper league drafts, Garrett Wilson went number one to Zach. Who buzz? <laughs> my tight end, my extra juicy tight end for the my extra juicy dog in the tight end position. I, I'm fumbling myself. Let's we're almost getting out of here, man. Come on now, we're almost there. It's tough to find a tight end. Damn it, we've been bitching about him all week, all season. But conk conk, Tyler Conklin. Tyler Conklin, conk conk goose. Conk conk goose is <laughs> good goose you this week. But damn it, you got to have the balls to put some put somebody in every once in a while. Tyler Conklin, he's the tight end 17 right now, so he he's not ownable, but he's, he's, he's streamable, I guess. 14 targets in the last two games. I, I, wanna, I want you to find a tight end that can say that. There's not that many. 14 targets in the last two games? Sure. Rodgers is starting to look his way a little bit. They're two-and-a-half-point underdogs versus Minnesota, so they're going to have to be thrown, might be behind. This game's in London. Let's not sleep. An early morning oh, game. Early bird Sunday. special. Early bird special. Early bird special in London this week. In Minnesota, they're 28th against the tight end position in fantasy football. 
If you got Tyler Conklin, my goodness, I think you can start him over Mark Andrews this week. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can we can you believe we're saying that? Can we freaking believe Woo! we were saying that? Unreal. Wow. Unreal. Uh, Cole Breezy going to my tight end again, everyone. It's a, it's a, I, we hope we're helping you when it comes to the tight end. Cause it ain't helping us. All right. No. <laughs> Nobody no. knows about the freaking tight end this no. year. Nobody, but I'm going to go with my Chicago bears. Cole Komet. All right. Cole Komet taking on Carolina. Carolina is also ranked 29th against the tight end. Cole Breezy, Can we believe it? Cole Komet's ranked fourth in tight ends right now. He's ranked Had fourth. That, what? 10 catch game. 10, 10 catches That's on 11 huge. on eleven targets. Uh, last week, he had three catches on three targets for 34 yards. All right. Scrappy, scrappy. Yeah, but are, would, you rather, have a, would you rather have a goose or would you yeah. rather have five five points? I'd rather have five points. <laughs> All right. Three I for cannot believe that's what <laughs> done. Three for 34 is getting it done at the tight end position. <laughs> no freaking doubt. Uh, Cobra is he has 18 catches on 20 targets this season. 18 for 20. Pretty damn good. Uh, that, that's that's all I got to say. If you want yeah. five points, put in Cole Komet because that's what he's going to give you. Depending on who you have as a tight end like me, I would be so happy to have Cole Komet because Mark Andrews is a queef. Jeesh. Are we going to see him available in our league if he gets a triple goosey, Mark Andrews? Uh, you might see him available uh, very soon. Ooh, okay. tonight, maybe. So, yeah, maybe, maybe. in the morning. Could be, could be. 